you're peace everybody i'm skates so i get a lot of people asking about the machine mk3 micro if there's a template for ableton uh like there's one for the mk3 the regular mk3 the answer is no not right now anyway uh native instruments is in the process of working on one um but i found another way so this is the way that you can get this set up first thing you want to do is drag the instance of machine into ableton then you want to hit this go to output or midi you want to set this to host right and from the actual controller um, you're able to actually play everything in and i'll show you that in a minute so i chose some flutes because all of you kids love flutes these days in this trap music um midi from you want to choose machine two and then you want to choose machine two there and then you arm this and now you're able to play now what you want to do from your controller is play anything you want to on sound one. This only works for sound one. I haven't figured out a way to get it to spread across the other pads, but if you go to sound one, it'll play. If you go to keyboard mode, it'll play directly and you can actually do like chords. Right, which is fire. You can also record direct in, which is something that was a major upset for me with the other ways that I was attempting, but That sounded terrible, but you can see that it actually picked up the MIDI data from me recording directly in with the pads, right? This also applies to drum racks as well. So if you bypass using machine altogether and you like drum racks, this will work. So I already have some drums loaded up. Put this in keyboard mode and you want to make sure that you start at C1 because that's where the drum rack starts by default. And I'm Ableton. And let me do the same thing here really quick. Machine two, there, arm this. Same thing, you can record them directly in. Right, that sounds terrible, but it worked. It went directly in, which is cool. Right, um, but it works. And the difficulty now, because I know a lot of people are gonna ask, how would you get the sound from machine to record direct into Ableton? So if you watch my other video where I did that long demonstration on how you um, set up Ableton to be able to pull out any of the MIDI data, you can do that without having to pull the MIDI data out. And I'll show you what I mean in a second if, I can find my right template. Oh, here it is. Cancel. Grab this. So if I wanted to, like if I threw sounds in machine, let's say um, I wanted to uh, ignore all, all of you can go to hell. <laughs> um, Let's say I threw some sounds inside of here and I wanted to record them directly out. I could put like a machine sound that I can only like get from here. Um, let's try something from chromatic. <laughs> put that on sound one from the machine controller, what you would want to do is choose between the instances, because right now, that's obviously just on sound one, right? So, choose the instance by hitting shift instance. You want to go down to, actually want to stay on the first instance, right? And then from here, you want to choose same exact thing, machine two, machine two. And now anything I play, when I arm this, and you can get your sounds from machine directly into Ableton that way, which is cool. Um, it's a dummy mission. I have to set everything up this way. It should be easier the way it is in other dolls like Studio One to be able to just record direct into Ableton from machine with the MIDI route in. But I mean, to each his own. I found a way to work it. So if you have a machine MK3, you now can 
be a part of the conversation, I guess. Um, in the future, Native Instruments is planning on making a template for the MK3 micro. So you guys will be able to do the same exact thing just using the regular controller template for Ableton. But in the meantime, you got this. Um, my name's Skates. Y'all have a blessed weekend. Peace.